Hi there, welcome back to another tutorial here on the NICEOR channel. Today we are going to take a look at creating this modern workroom. Before that, don't forget to like the video and share it with your friends. Now let's jump in. So as you see, we have a photo of a workroom and in this video we will model that. So let's start from the table. Let's create that, use rectangle tool, draw a rectangle right here by 200 centimeter comma 60. Now extrude it by 80 centimeter and then use offset tool and take an offset by 6 cm like this select the middle surface use a scale tool and a scale here and also here too so now use move tool Take a copy of this edge by 60 centimeter. Then use push ball tool and extrude here like this. Empty here. Now again use move tool. Take a copy of this edge by 6 centimeter like this and take another copy of this edge up to here now divided by four so select all make it group so now as you see we have some lowers on the wall let's create them Again, use rectangle tool, draw rectangle right here by 200 centimeter comma 150 and select this surface, use control C, take a copy of this surface, then use 1001 bit tools plugin with this option, vertical lowers, create some lowers by 1.6 depth for thickness spacing between them 6 cm and 0 angle then click on create lowers like this and let me let me delete this one use a scale tool let me scale it up to here like this so now as you know i took a copy of this surface let me paste that go to edit menu and use paste in place and extrude it by point two centimeter and also let me move these lowers by 0.2 now it's good select this surface with these lowers and make them a single group then let's create this value unit right here draw a rectangle here by 200 centimeter comma 56 enter use push ball tool and extrude by 40 centimeter now again use move tool take a copy of this edge by 6 centimeter and this edge 2 take a copy 
up to here now divided by four then let me select all and make it group two we have a shell here let's create that rectangle tool draw rectangle right here extrude by six centimeter select all make it group move it here and now move it up up to here a little bit more now it's good so let's continue work on this unit create doors use offset tool take an offset by 0.15 here 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 and here too now extrude by 1.6 here 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 and also here too and also this drawer unit put inside of that use offset tool take an offset by 0.2 select this surface use ctrl c and take a copy of that go out from the group now again use paste in place and make it component click on create and take a copy of that up to here and type 3x so now let me go to inside of one of them extrude it by 1.6 right then here as you see we have a handle right here let's create that again use rectangle tool draw rectangle right here now extrude it up to here select this edge move it by 0.5 and also this edge to 0.5 like this now it's good let me extrude here 2 by point by 1.6 like this and also here move here guys sometimes we need some objects like this chair and also we need to use it for our projects now let me tell you how we can make that just by a few clicks so We have an AI plugin, its name is AIM for SketchUp. And if you want to know about this plugin, check out our YouTube channel. I made a tutorial for this plugin. So now click on AIM plugin. After that, you will see this window. Click on upload. You can upload an image or also you can drag an image like this for example i use this model click on create and you can get this ai on our website nicestars.com as you can see it made the object now let's import it
Wow, look at the details. It's so amazing. So now let's use some material for our project. So guys, as you can see, our work is done. I hope this tutorial was useful and helpful for you. For more tutorials, please subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already. And don't forget to like the video and share it with your friends.